What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I have to be fair and I have to be consistent. In terms of Carl Frotz, I like the cat. I mean, he has a hell of a chin. There's a couple questionable um, calls. The premature stoppage in his most recent fight. I thought Andre Durrell was robbed in their fight. Um, but I, called a, I got to call a spade a spade. And Carl Frotch recently was on ringside and he did an interview. And this is what he had to say. I defended my title against a mandatory. I beat an unbeaten fighter. A hungry, ambitious fighter who came to try and win the fight and winning with a technical knockout in the ninth round is a great result. Do I want to go over old ground? Not at the moment, no. I like to move forward in my career and the only old ground I like to go over again is for a defeat. It was nice to avenge the Mikhail Kessler defeat. It would be nice to avenge the Andre Ward defeat if that can possibly be made. Now, to me, this is some bullshit just because... The Carl Frotch George Groves is a controversial fight. It ended um, prematurely in a lot of people's eyes, including myself. Um, it was a fight by far he did not dominate, and George Groves gave him all he could handle. Maybe got a little bit careless towards the end um, with the hands down and just overall trying to put a hurting on Carl Frotch to the point where he might have got overzealous and um, end up getting himself hurt. But I was looking forward to a rematch, especially since the first one ended in this type of fashion. And it's funny to me because there are certain fighters like who have a a name in the sport of the of boxing and we make passes for them and other fighters don't. And Mayweather's an easy, easy target just because a lot of people hate him. So you can really think of several examples. And the the fight with Jose Luis Castillo very close fight. It could have went either way. And people hold that over Mayweather's head like 12 years later or whatever the fuck has been. Over a decade later. Even though Mayweather was fighting with one arm. He had a rotator cuff um, injury. He got it fixed. Later that same year, he went and beat Jose Luis Castillo convincingly. People still hold that over his head. Then you have other people like Carl Frotch who had a very tough fight. It wasn't by far a shutout. And um, I'm not going to say he got lucky because he's a trained fighter. But he lucked out in the sense of he needed, it came at the right time. And he was lucky that the ref stopped it when it didn't necessarily need to be stopped. That's what I will say. Because um, George Groves was game all the way and was up on a lot of people's scorecards. So to, for Carl Frost to dismiss, dismiss a rematch, um, I think that's a pussy move. I, I don't really condone that. I think he should set the record straight, especially if he feels he's the better man in there. Um, because in the Andre Ward fight, he clearly and like convincingly beat Carl Frotch. And he was one-handed. Andre Ward was one-handed in the Carl Frotch fight and still dominated, still clearly beat Carl Frotch. Yet, he's saying... I only go over old ground, like basically I'm only going to revisit my defeats, so the Mikhail Kessler defeat. So then, by saying that, then why are some of the fans so angry that Andre Ward doesn't want to go to the UK necessarily? Well, I don't even know if he does or doesn't. He he just basically said the money has to be right. But when when fans want to talk about fighters like Andre Ward, they're like, Andre Ward's a pussy. He's scared to fight in the UK. Uh, and you're saying all this crazy stuff. But, one, in the UK, robberies do happen, especially for the hometown fighter. Um, you look at the Carl Frotch, George Groves, that was definitely the ref helping out Carl Frotch and stopping it prematurely based on whatever he thought he saw. Um, so that's one reason Andre Ward doesn't necessarily need to go to the UK since he already convincingly beat. Plus, using Carl Frotch's logic, why should Andre Ward go over quote-unquote old ground for a fighter he convincingly beat with one arm to give Carl Frotch a rematch if that's his philosophy for his close um, and competitive fights that he won? So Andre Ward should just be like, fuck it. 
no rematch. Why should I go over old ground? So it's just funny how fickle these fucking fans are. Some of you fans will try to justify Carl Frotch not going over old ground and revisiting a rematch in a close fight that he was behind the on the scorecards. But if Andre Ward said that, y'all would be up in arms like, oh, Andre Ward's a pussy. He doesn't want to give Carl Frotch a second chance. He's scared. Carl Frotch is improved and all kinds of shit. So at the moment, I just, I'm not feeling Carl Frotch's statement. Um, like I said, he's a warrior. I like Carl Frotch a lot. He's a great fighter. He's an entertaining fighter. Shows tremendous heart. But these statements, I can't um, agree with. I think George Groves has worked hard. And in that fight, he worked hard. He was stopped. You can argue it's premature, but... Why not give the, if you if you know for a fact you're the better man, why don't you give George Groves a rematch? That's all I'm gonna say. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video's ego. Signing off.